name is Jeremy Lefkoe and I'm 20 years old and I've moved to Dallas uh, a year ago uh, to continue my education and to play soccer for the college team. I'm telling you a story today about how one person, uh, David Beckham, has affected my life and how I live and how I play soccer. Uh, it all started with one day when I was uh, going up to a game in Manchester from London with my family. It was seven of us bundled into a five-seater car, uh, which can you imagine was a little bit tight for space, if you could say. Um, and it was a World Cup game, actually. It was a World Cup qualifying game. And it was me, my mum, my dad, my brother, my two sisters, uh, and a couple of other friends. Uh, we all went up. We went up in separate cars. Um, so it was an experience in itself, travelling up so far uh, from London, which is about three hours away. Um, today was the day that I get to watch England play as a national team. Um, they play in front, uh, Manchester, uh, which is a thick with Old Trafford, which is also known as the Fear of Dreams. Um, and today we all wish that the dreams would come true for England. Um, basically, it was a, like I say, it was a World Cup qualifier. Um, we had to win the game or tie the game to go to the World Cup in Japan. It was a simple, simple, simple game, really. Um, it was England versus Greece. And, uh, the, the game kicks off, and we're all ecstatic with the, the emotions, really. Hoping the game goes really well for us. Um, we get off to a really bad start. We go two goals down in a matter of 30 minutes. Uh, it's not looking good for us now. Uh, we've never been a team that come back and, and we really win a game. Um, and we were hope, hoping the day could be the day. And David Beckham, like I said before, uh, before I really started getting involved in the story, he was, was a hero of mine. Um, he was captain of England at the time. Uh, his leadership skills, his ability in the soccer ball. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys would know, or I don't know if you would know, sir, that he plays for LA Galaxy now, in uh, Los Angeles, obviously. Um, so he's still an idol of mine, no matter where he plays. And it's one of the reasons why I'm here. Um, but basically, uh, this day, we come out, it's 45 minutes gone, half time, and we, we're struggling. We're not looking like we're going to score a goal. Uh, we're just wondering that it's going well for us. Uh, we come out second half, we look fired up. We really do look fired up. Uh, we made a couple of changes, as most things we do is they're two goals down. Uh, we brought on a guy from Teddy Sheridan. Um, and I guess you could say, he can't really tell him. We turn around and say that he's not going to do any well for us and that he's going to mess up and he's not going to be the player that can get us through to the next game. Um, it turned out that he was the player, as long, along with David Beckham. Uh, we had a free kick with about 20 minutes left, 70th minute of the game. Um, Beckham whips in a ball. Teddy Sheridan gets his head on it and scores a goal. It's 2 1. You know, we're, we're, we're ready now. We're hoping that we can, we can get a result here. Um, come to it with the 92nd minute. Uh, David Beckham puts the ball down for free kick. He, ha he has to score. The game's just about to be over. He has to score. He takes one step, two step, three steps, pins the ball. Bam! Top left corner. There's the goal. There's the, there's the goal that's going to send us to the, to the World Cup. Um, and as I said, David Beckham is my hero. With, um, within 20 feet away from him, uh, he's standing there after the goal celebration like a god. His arms lofted a wide like this, just standing there. You can just see the recognizer and how much he means to the team. Um, so, yeah, that's my story about a moment that changed in my life and how David Beckham affects me. Uh, to this day now, uh, I, live by, I live by that guy. He's my idol, he's my hero. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um,